Hey guys, welcome back to another video here on the channel. And today we have a rebuild of my favorite team, the Chicago Bears. Uh, injuries are turned off, of course. Pre-existing injuries are turned off, of course. We're starting in week 10, which is the upcoming week. So, so hopefully I will have this out before the game on Sunday. Uh, look at the team. Right side of the offensive line needs to be changed immediately. Uh, Trey Burton needs to progress or he's gone. Uh, Taylor Gabriel, Cordell Patterson, Javon Wims or... Riley Ridley needs to step up. Anthony Miller, for some reason, never progresses when I play with him. Uh, Tariq Cohen or David Montgomery really needs to get going. I'll probably start David Montgomery for this week since he does have a breakout challenge. Uh, the defense looks really good. Uh, biggest needs, corner. And, well, here's the things that are going to have to happen this year. Both the middle linebackers, besides, well, number two and number three middle linebackers in Roke, and uh, Dane Gervaisen and Nick Kwiatkowski are probably gone. Let's be real. They both have expiring contracts. One's old and one's old with no dev trait. Leonard Floyd is gone. He's old. He's not progressing quite as well. He's gone. Prince Mukamar is probably gone as well at the end of the season. Uh, Buster Screen only has uh, normal development. And then safeties, haha, -ha, I don't think is the um, correct call. But we might have to keep him. Uh, Trubisky, definitely not the correct call either. So I think wide receiver, O-line, linebackers all the way around, besides these two, I guess, and Prince Amukamara is probably gone as well. I can live with HaHa -Ha for a while. Um, so I will see you guys at the playoffs. Quick update, just simmed one week just to see if David Montgomery got it, and he did. He got 10,000 XP as well, so he's a star with hopefully going to be about a 78 overall going into this next week, which means we could maybe keep him. Of course, we missed the playoffs. Um, we went 8-8, eight and eight though. Not terrible. But I would have rather lost all the games because then we would have got a higher pick. Uh, the real part of just... Trubisky playing bad in real life really sucks because now uh, we didn't make the playoffs. Like that, that kind of sucks. Apparently, we got a weekly award. Trubisky and Mac both went the fuck off for some reason. I understand Mac, but I don't understand Trubisky. Trubisky's gone. I'm sorry. Trubisky's gone. I can't play with him. Gonna send him to Super Bowl. I uh, will see you guys at the off season. So we just don't really have the money to really bring back any of these guys. Um, everybody down here, though, I don't really want to bring back. There's nobody special, so there's no point in bringing them back. Uh, Roy Robb would be cool to bring back, but we already have three defensive linemen, and I don't feel like paying them that much. Uh, these guys are all old, or we already have somebody at their position. We went after Ha Ha. We just don't have the money. We had, like, barely 500 k left by the time, like, we even tried to, like, say, like, hey, do you want to re-sign? So... This first couple of years are going to be hard without trading people. So I will show you guys any negotiations I'm making with any players. So right now, I don't even have enough money to like uh, spend 550k on any players. So I'm going through and I'm releasing releasing practice squad players that are like a couple hundred k, or even players that I just don't want that don't have any penalties right now. So going through and doing all that because like I said don't even have money to pay for a 500k contract right now and there's a couple of people that I want to just lowball the hell out of just to see if they'll sign for cheap like that with this trade we are sending Bobby Massey Kyle Long and a second of this year for a one of next year and a one of this year for the from the bills so we are trading up in the draft and we're also getting a first round pick of next year but we're also clearing, I think it's close to like 18 mil off the table for those two guys. So we have a little bit of money to spend now. Not a whole ton, but we do have a little bit. So for this year, first year, uh, I'm going big or going home. Not really, actually. But uh, So I just go through and I basically find anybody that doesn't have offers and I give them a deal like for 550k. If any of these guys sign, I'll be happy. Um, the two guys I'd 
of course, would be like the 90. AJ Green would be cool. Emmanuel Sanders would be cool. Get my QB some weapons. Marcus Peters or Mike Hilton, both kind of young. I gave them like each like three to four years. Jack Doyle is a number two for 500K. Danny Trevathan coming back. Daryl Williams coming in for a year or two. Uh, Jermaine Effetti coming in for a year or two. These would all be very cool guys. So if I can get any of these guys to sign, I'll be happy going into year number two. So I got some big news for you guys. Uh, Emmanuel Sanders decided not to sign anywhere. Weird. Kareem Hunt, as you hear ESPN go off the background, that was kind of funny. Kareem Hunt, Chris Jones, Mike Hilton, Greg Zerline, Ronnie McLeod Jr., and Aaron Lynch all signed with us for 550K. We got a running back, so kind of puts me in a tough spot with Tariq Cohen or even David Montgomery. So he's going to be number one. Got Chris Jones coming in. Awesome. Can kind of have some leeway with the Keem Hicks, maybe push him out the door. Mike Hilton, awesome pickup. Like, these are all awesome pickups for 500K. Now, you may say some of these guys are older. Why would you want that? Especially like uh, Greg the Leg, McLeod, Aaron Lynch. They're so cheap, I can get rid of them at no expense. So, uh, I have not looked at the draft yet, so I'm going to go ahead, hop in, look at the draft, and I will see you guys with the first pick at number 24 for us. With our first pick in the first round, we are taking a strong safety out of Wisconsin named Tyson Solomon, 6'3", 202, insane, insane combine report. He was top five in all but one category, which was the 40-yard dash. His stats are pretty good, so I'm going to take him. 73 with hidden. He's going to start right away. He looks like a beast. 87 speed, 73 man coverage, 66 tackle, 79 pursuits. 92 acceleration, 61 play rec. Uh, so once that play rec goes up, he, he's automatically going to jump to like the high 70s so far. Hit power in an 84, 76 awareness. Just looks like an overall good player. Start him right away. With our second round pick, the second, the uh, ninth overall pick in the second round, we're taking a guy out of LSU, speed rusher, 21 years old. 243, standing at six foot four. I think that's Rashad Tarnett. I don't know. He's a top five player in all categories, which is awesome. Expected to go late second round. I'm going to take him now. 74 with hidden. 14th in the class. We took him at 41. He's going to start right away as well. With this trade, we're sending our fifth, our sixth, and our seventh. Well, one of our six to the Chiefs for a third rounder of next year. We are also trading this pick away to Seattle for a fifth rounder of next year. No will be good left on the board. Overall, looking at this class, it looks like it's a well-rounded class, but it, like, look, most of the good guys didn't go until the teens, like 77, 77, 76, 76. They all went in the teens, and then like this guy went in at pick 20 whatever uh so we get a right outside linebacker and a strong safety uh there was another right outside linebacker it doesn't look like he was higher overall than the one we took was it Stuart crick it might have been Stuart crick wow i'm actually happy i took my guy then yeah okay cool my guy was the best i was gonna take Stuart crick i think because he had like a he had better stats but he didn't have a better combat combine jesus i can't fucking speak so i'm gonna adjust positions real quick make sure everybody's in the correct order and then we will set off for season two and i'll show you the depth chart as well so looking through uh players that are going to be available after this year uh trubisky patterson davis are all going to get traded as well as probably shaheen amukamara floyd so going to be a lot of trading. Uh, Allen Robinson is a guy that I'm going to want to bring back as well as Eddie Jackson, so we're going to need money. Uh, Pat O'Donnell, I'll let walk. doesn't really matter. Uh, Broniker and Kevin Tolliver, I don't think we'll have much value, if any. And then Cohen, I'm thinking about trading, to be honest. Like, Now, I understand. Bears fans, I'd be pissed too. Second running back in a row, that is pretty good, and they just ship off. But if we just let him walk, then I lose out on much more than what we could have gotten. So, going to trade as many people as I can, I guess. 
Cordell Patterson for a second from the Bills. They're like one of the only teams that has salary cap left. So it's going to be hard getting rid of some of these players. Trubisky, Leonard Floyd, Mike Davis gets me Quentin Nelson and Rigoberto Sanchez from the Colts. Sanchez is just a piece because we're going to let Pat O'Donnell walk. And Quentin Nelson's just fucking a monster. All three of these guys had expiring contracts, and I didn't want to bring back any of them. So, perfect trade for me. With this trade, we're trading Prince of Mukamara, Buster Screen. This is clearing another 16 mil off the book. And we're getting two young pieces and a second round pick of next year. Perfect trade for us. Let's go. With this trade, we are trading two more players away. Taylor Gabriel, I love him to death. He's an awesome player, but he's 29. He's going to start regressing. He's costing 6.5, and he is normal. So there's no way in hell he's not going to regress. Adam Shaheen coming off contract. He's probably going to want a payday. I don't want to pay him. So we're bringing in Johnson, we're bringing in Davis, and we're bringing in Davenport. Davis, yes, he does cost 7 mil, but he does give me a middle linebacker for a year. So, a year or two. So, With this trade, I am sad to say this, but Tariq Cohen is no longer a bear. We are trading to the Eagles once again. We are getting their first of next year for Tariq Cohen. He's coming off contract. He's going to want money. I don't really want to pay him, especially since we have Kareem Hunt and David Montgomery on the team now. Here's the team for season number two. Uh, this is the official depth chart as well as all the players that we're going to have on the team. Uh, had to go out, sign some backup O-linemen, some QBs, stuff like that. Backup running backs, a couple wide receivers. Uh, Brett Hundley, starting QB. Uh, Kareem Hunt, David Montgomery going to get most of the snaps. Allen Robinson, Anthony Miller going to be our two main wide receivers. Our offensive line is good up until right guard because right tackle is dog shit, but... We're going to try to address that in the draft or free agency. Uh, we're still rocking with a 4-3. I mean, 3-4. We could switch to a 4-3, but if we need to, we can switch to a 4-3. Because then that would put Marcus Davenport in a better situation, as well as maybe some of our edge rushers. And Chris Jones and Eddie Goldman and Bilal Nichols will probably be our D-tackles then. But then Akeem Hicks is out. Uh, cornerback is looking a little weak. Mike Hilton will be our number two, of course. Uh, Solomon looking pretty good out there. Hopefully he has superstar as well as that linebacker. Rigoberto Sanchez and Greg Zerline are our two kickers. Uh, we're just using our fastest, some of our faster guys on kickoff return and punt return. Tight ends as long snappers, uh, specialists, edge rushers, rush D tackles. The only reason why Keem Hicks is down here instead of up here is because Eddie Goldman does have a scheme fit as well as he is younger. And Akeem Hicks will probably be gone by this time next year or even the year after that. Uh, sub linebackers, as you see. Uh, slot corners, as you can see as well. Uh, and practice squad doesn't really matter. Uh, so I had, to, I had to simulate to week four to be able to trade anybody because then people, because then teams are finally releasing players and clearing up that like those ridiculous like two million salary salaries that are just like handing out to random free agents so go ahead and get it i will see you guys at the midway point with this deal we are bringing back eddie jackson free safety uh don't really know what we brought him back for i probably should have started the recording a little bit earlier hopefully we can bring back alan robinson as well he does resign for 11 per year everybody else I'm letting walk they're all free agents and stuff the only person I would even even think about bringing back is Demario Davis but if he hits free agency and if he's like a 77 with superstar still we might go after him and say hey here's some money for 500k everybody else I don't really care about they're guys I picked up in free agency anyway So we are technically at the mid-season point. I just wanted to make sure I didn't want to trade anybody away that was still going to get off the roster. And I don't really. So, uh, Solomon does have star. We still haven't seen Tarant yet for some reason. He is at 487, so one more week. He does have three skill points, though. So that's making me very hopeful. We're just going to go into speed rusher, get his overall as high as humanly possible. So he becomes a better player overall. Of course, like if you understand overall, he does go into scheme fit as well, so that will help. Um, we are six and zero, so we've already had our buy. 
We just gotta keep on it now. Uh, upgrade players. Just gonna finish off with Tyson Sullivan. Gonna go into zone twice, I think. He's running number 47, which looks ridiculous, but whatever. He does get up to a 75 overall, so that is always great to see. Oop, just need to auto upgrade the rest of these guys. Yeah, so I don't know why we're doing so well. Uh, 84 overall, 83 offense, 87 defense. I'll see you guys at the playoffs if we make it. Let's be real. With my luck, we're probably going to go 6-10. and 10. We're going to lose these next 10 games. See you guys at the playoffs. So we made the playoffs at 12-4. and four. Uh, First things first, we're going to check out the team, see if anybody got development increases based on challenges or anything like that. Um, nothing from what I can see. Brent Hundley is up to a 70, so he balled out this year. Offensive line looking good, as always. Defense. Star for Torrance. Damn, that sucks. Uh, Roquan up. Kyle Fuller up. Uh, Helton up. Solomon up. Keem Hicks slowly regressing. Eddie Goldman up. Like, we might move Bilal Nichols just at defensive tackle. Leave him at defensive tackle. Move Eddie Goldman out to get him a little bit more playing time so he can go up even more. So, yeah. Uh, no, no development traits as of right now. Uh, spent some Coach XP on some stuff. And check out stats. How did we go 12-4? and four? Wow. Second best offense. What the fuck are you doing, Brett Hundley? <sighs> like, I'll have an, like, I'll have, like, an 85 overall, like, quarterback with a good offense good offensive line and i'll do dog shit but whatever cream hunt had a good year so did montgomery anthony miller balled out as well as Allen robinson uh trey burton and demarcus robinson are both there as well nothing spectacular from them uh sack need to go down from our tackles uh one of them isn't good but whatever roquan led the way with 111 tackles tackles for loss uh 16 for jones 13 for goldman and 10 for mac I mean, 11 for Mac and 10 for Torrent. Can't read. Uh, 12 for Jones. 11.5 for Mac as in sacks. And 9 for Roquan. Okay. Uh, 4 pick for Mike Hilton. 2 for a number of players. And 1 for another handful of players. Uh, forced fumbles. We had a grand total of 4. 4 recovered as well. Uh, no blocked. 1 blocked kicked. No safeties, no touchdowns. Kicking, Greg Zerline was 100% from field from point afters. He was 80% from field goals. Rigoberto Sanchez had a good year in terms of punts within the 20. Uh, nothing special on the special return, well, the return squads. So, you know, Brent Hundley just went off for some reason. I don't know why. This is a weird season, I guess. Uh, NFC. Offensive Player of the Year, Brett Hundley got third. Okay. Uh, Defensive Player of the Year, Roquan had third. Cleo Mack had five. Uh, Offensive Rookie of the Year, we didn't have anybody in the running for that. Tyson Solomon wins Rookie of the Year, so he might get a development increase at Super Bowl week. And then Rashard Torrance at number two. So both our rookies balled out. Uh, we did not have the, we had Quint Nelson as the best offensive lineman. Chris Jones is the best defensive lineman. Roquan Smith is the best linebacker. Hilton was in the uh, talk for best cornerback. Khalil Mack as well as linebacker. Best kicker. Uh, I thought I saw him. Yeah, number nine. Good year from us. Second in offensive yards. Tenth in defensive yards. Come on, turn. Third in points. Scored and 15th in points allowed so pretty good year for us let's advance to the divisional so this as it's only been the second year we're not going to jump in right away as Tyson Solomon and Kevin Tolliver the second have upgrade points hopefully we can beat the Seahawks here and do we no we lost 21-17 be expected because we have a docking quarterback except for he played well for some reason i'll see you guys at the offseason taking another quick look at the team anthony miller got upgraded to superstar brent hunley up to star god we might actually have to bring him back oh, fuck 
Uh, nobody on defense got upgraded to superstar. I was hoping Solomon or Torrent would have got upgraded to superstar, but I guess not. Uh, nobody that I really want to bring back in terms of re-signing. God, do I really have to bring back Brett fucking Hunley? Like, this dude got traded off the Packers. Come on. Yeah, no, I'm not giving him that. No. Uh-uh. No, I'm not giving... Oh, fuck, it's only four per year. I don't want to let him walk either. I have the money. Why not? Brent Hunley, welcome back to the team. Yay. Woo. I can't wait to fucking go 1-16. Uh, if there's any negotiations, I will show you or any signings. So we are looking to spend a little bit of money. Uh, Trent Williams, trying to go big on. Uh, we'll move either guy to the right side. Uh, Nickel Roby Coleman. Uh, a lot of these guys are just 550K guys. Um, some of the, these guys will move positions as such, like, for example, some of the offensive linemen can move around, stuff like that. Some of the linebackers. Uh, I don't want all these guys to sign. I'd rather have a couple of these guys sign, but, uh, yeah, just some notable names. So this is my first time looking at the signings, so apparently none of these guys wanted to sign. Coleman, Sanders, Walker, Ross. Bowser, Long, Shaheen, Ellison, and Rivers all sign. So we got our three backup tight ends, which is nice. Got an offensive lineman that can play tackle and Kyle Long. We got a either backup or starter, I guess. The fuck do I know at this point. Tyus Bowser, good depth. And then two wide receivers that are fast and good. Provide extra targets. And Mikel Roba Coleman, like just adding more pieces that I think we could just go deep in the playoffs with. So, we do have about 30 mil next year, depend and depending on anybody we get rid of, could have more. So With this trade, we're trading the 26th, a 5th, and a 3rd for a 1 and a 2 of next year from the Cowboys. This class, besides the guys that I wanted, is not that great. There's no QBs, and it's mostly positions that we already have. Was thinking about taking a corner, but he went off the board just like two picks before me and the right tackle I wanted went off the board a pick before me now Grant you could say well why didn't you trade up why didn't you trade up I just didn't really want to uh, none of the guys like there was a couple safeties that I liked but I have safeties like so overall not a great class I only have one guy left on my draft board and he's expected to go in, in the third round so trading up well trading back for picks next year a one and a five gets me the Vikings first round pick of next year. They were dog shit. They went like two and 14. I think they were either the second worst team or the worst team. So hopefully they can just keep that streak up next year. With this trade, we are trading up five picks. We're trying to get something going. I'm just trying to trade up a little bit at a time to see if I can move up a couple picks. Just enough to get this other trade going through. So we are trading the two that we just traded for, uh, two that we are holding on to in our first of next year for the Dolphins first and Jerome Baker. So all of our middle linebacker issues just enough for now also gets a very high pick. So hopefully this works. With this trade, we are trading out of the draft completely, trading our four and our seven of this year and a six of next year up into the third round with the Patriots. So, we have a bit of a problem. Uh, here, I'll just run through the list real quick, just to show you guys. Uh, Fuller, Hicks, Leno, Burton, Smith, Davenport, Barber, Nelson, Daniels, Miller, Carter, Wilkins, Rivers, Coleman, Sanders, Ellison, Walker, Long, McLeod, Davis, Nichols, Robinson, Baker, and, yeah, whatever the fuck his name is. Uh off off contract so we either got to trade a uh hicks out leno out leno regressed from like an 83 down to like an 81 so he's out burton probably out uh smith is staying i don't think i have the money to pay davenport so i think we might have to get rid of him nelson staying daniel staying miller might have to go uh 
Coleman's thing because I think I only wanted him for one year anyway. Uh, anybody that I signed to one year deals, I think I'm just going to keep anyway. Uh, Nichols is probably coming back, and Baker's probably coming back. So, a couple players. But I will see you guys with any trades or anything. With this trade, we're sending Leno and Lorenzo Carter for Lane Johnson. The two other guys are strictly cap reasons. They were negative 900K in cap, so we had to take two guy, guys on. Lane Johnson is actually cheaper, too. So even if he re regresses to an 85 and an 80 in the next two years, he's cheaper le than Leno, and I don't have to repay him. So good on me, I guess. With this trade, we are trading Akeem Hicks and Peyton Barber in a fourth of this year for O.J. Howard and Ali Marpet. That fixes our thing at tight end because now we can ship off Trey Burton or we can just let him play out the year and then I don't know what I think Whitehair is going to get moved on from because if they're both making about the same money I'm going to choose Marpet like Marpet was strictly for salary cap reasons and they bought it like like you can't blame me for that so let's go with this trade we're getting younger at the wide receiver position McKenzie is just a cap reason trade so we're trading Kyle Long a fifth and a fifth for DK Metcalf and McKenzie with this trade we are trading Davenport and Miller both off a of contract after this year they're both backups essentially at this point they're not going to get play time and we're not going to be able to pay them so we're trading them for Zach Martin somebody's going to have to move to left tackle though that's our biggest problem and uh, we have to get rid of Cody Whitehair now or we can keep Cody Whitehair and ship out James Daniels, but I think Daniels is better, so. Okay, so I didn't expect this to go through. Cody Whitehair straight up from My Mitchell Fort. So, I'm going to check salary stuff for just a second and see what we can do with Daniels. See if any of the guys that I've already traded for are coming off roster besi besides Nelson. We might have our O-line of the future. <laughs> With this trade, we are trading Trey Burton, James Daniels, and a seventh for a first of this year from the Raiders and Jonathan Abraham. Um, two other guys that are coming off contract. And with us bringing in all those offensive linemen, these two guys are gone. So. I didn't expect this to go through. I understood... McLeod is a green for the Redskins, but, like, it's their top wide receiver. Why would that go through? But whatever. McLeod for McLaurin, so I guess you got to make another spot on the receiver list then. Riley Ridley for a future four. Michael Davis and Nasir Jones for a six and a five this year. Hopefully some good trade pieces in the future. Let's take a look at the team before we start season number three. All of the line is completely revamped from what it was last year. Uh, just awesome. Granted, three people are coming off contract, but still. I think this is our all or nothing year, even though Brent Hundley is still our QB. Yay. Uh, Robinson, Metcalf, Lauren, Sanders, Ross, and Robinson are wide receivers. Hunt, Montgomery, Jakeem Grant, and Gus Edwards are our running backs. Uh, Walker is actually going to play fullback as he is a higher overall. Uh, and defense is kind of the same for the most part, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, besides the fact of Akeem Hicks leaving us, Bilal Nichols will take over in his absence, as well as Jason McCourty was added to the cornerback squad. Uh, a lot of the same stuff from last year. Just a couple different people changing positions. We're going to put our best receivers in the slot. So Robinson does count as one of those. I will see you guys at the midway point. Here we are at the mid-season point. We are 4-3. and three. <sighs> Let me guess. Brett Hundley's playing like dog shit now. If so, we'll put in Phillip Rivers and let him end the season. 
So contract, Schwartz, Lane, Nelson, Fuller, Roquan, Nickel, Emmanuel, Jason, Delaney, and then the backup O linemen, Robinson, Jerome, Bilal, and then more backups. Um Bilal is definitely coming back. Baker's coming back. Uh Roquan's coming back. Fuller's coming back, Nelson's coming back, and then probably one of these two guys. And then whoever else I have money for will come back. Other than that, well, shit. <laughs> like, uh, I'm going to check out, we're going to check out Brett Hundley because we are third in the division right now. He's not playing bad. What is the problem? 31st in defense. Awesome. <laughs> What the fuck? Okay, I'll see you guys at the playoff. So we have made the playoffs after destroying the 49ers. Uh, apparently we did get a weekly award in that. Cream Hunt, 18 carries for 172. Three touchdowns, three receptions for 40. Dude, what the hell? Cream Hunt went off in that last game. Uh, upgrade players, just going to auto-upgrade everybody. Uh, so, quick thing, we signed everybody besides Lane Johnson and I think Jerome Baker. And I think we still have a decent chunk of money left, too. So, I'm not afraid at all right now. Um, we're going to simulate the wild card round. Hopefully, we don't lose. We do not lose. Um, as it's only being season three, we're just going to go ahead and let this go. So, against the Cowboys, we lost. 24-21. I will see you guys at the offseason. Quick check in here at Super Bowl week. Uh, Going to go over anything that happens. Of course, Trubisky's a top five league MVP contender. Of course he is. Um, NFC. Offensive player of the year. Brent Hundley at nine. Defensive player of the year. Roquan at four. Cleo Mack at six. On to Rookie of the Year, no Bears, no Defensive Rookie of the Year either. Brett Hundley at 8 for quarterbacks, uh, Hunt at 4 for running backs, Robinson at 5, Martin, Nelson, Schwartz is the only offensive lineman. Wow, I'm surprised we didn't have more. Uh, defensive line, nobody. Linebackers, Khalil and Roquan both make the list. Defensive backs. Fuller makes the list. Kicker. Sterling was at 8. We'll check out stats real quick as well. And then I'll do some coach XP once we get done with this. Brad Hundley. Another decent year for some odd fucking reason. Uh, Cream Hunt. Very good year. Enjoy seeing that. Uh, David Montgomery had a good year as well. I guess from what you can say from a backup. Because backups never have good years in this. OJ Howard and DJ Me DK Metcalf, both good years in terms of yards. Robinson, 12 touchdowns. He has to have superstar now. McLaurin scored zero touchdowns. What the fuck? Delaney Walker scored five from tight end. Okay. Uh, sacks. That's a little high, just saying. Like, uh... Tackles, Roquan led us, tackles for it lost, 14 for Baker, 12 for Goldman, 9 for Khalil Mack. Sacks, 15 for Mack, 7.5 for Jones, 4.5 for two other guys. Got to look at picks and other stuff. Three picks for Roquan, as I can see. Four for Kyle Fuller, two for Tarrant. Don't know why he's dropping back into coverage, but he is. Uh, blocked kicks. One for Goldman, one for Tyus Bowser. Safeties. None. Touchdowns. One for Kyle Fuller. Force fumbles. Two for Jones. One for Fuller. One for Roquan. Recovered fumbles. Zero. Wow. Okay. That's not great. Greg Zerline missed one extra point because it was blocked. And he missed four field goals because one was blocked as well. So he only missed three. So he actually did very good. Uh, Ray Roberto had good year in yards terms, but not inside the 20, down year on that. Nothing special on the return squad, and that is it. So, Brent Hundley still balling out for no fucking reason. I, I don't understand. 
So Roquan got upgraded to Superstar, and so did Kareem Hunt. Robinson did not, though. I think it was because of his yards. That sucks. Uh, gotta go resign the table. So we re-signed Jerome Baker. Uh, let rest of the people on this gonna let walk. They're either gonna re they're either regressing very hard or don't need them. And we're gonna franchise tag Lane, which don't know how much that's gonna leave us with. But it, he was asking about the price that we had to tag him for, so whatever. If if well, the people I do negotiate with, I will show you, and we'll advance to the draft. So these are some of my negotiations. We're going after Kevin Zeitler, Richard Sherman, Calais Campbell, Jordan Reed, Brandon Ingram. I mean, not Brandon Ingram. That's basketball. Brandon Graham, Ricky Seals-Jones, Melvin Ingram, and Mike Gesicki. Um, Zeitler, if we can get him for 500 k I will get rid of one of my offensive guards, which will open up about 10 mil. No, we'll probably get rid of Lane Johnson, to be honest. We'll probably get rid of Lane Johnson and kick one of the guards outside. And then Zeitler will come in and play. Um, Sherman, he'll go opposite of Kyle Fuller. Yes, we'll have an old cornerback squad, but they'll play good. Uh, Clay's Campbell, take over Bilal Nichols. We could chip him out then, create some extra room, and then backup tight ends, and then these two guys as well in Clay's Campbell's situation. So, just really depends. Hopefully, we can get a couple of these signings. Did have to get rid of a couple backups, so hopefully, this works out in our favor little bit of a free agency recap. We got our two biggest targets, which was Zeitler and Sherman. Zeitler actually took until week three to sign, but nobody went after him. So we got him for nothing. Technically. Yeah, basically. So that's going to open up some money. Sherman also coming in. So that's two corners on the roster right now, above an 80. That came in for 550k. Seals Jones, back of tight end. And J.K. Scott, I let go of Rigoberto Sanchez because he was costing me 2.5 a year. So I was like, screw it. I'm just going to go sign a punter. So J.K. Scott coming in for 550k a year. Uh, I'll see you guys at the draft when we either take our first pick or make our first move. Off the board is Trey Lane as we will take our first pick at number two. The number two overall pick in the 20, what is it, something, I don't know. We're taking a quarterback out of Notre Dame, 22 years old, field general, 6'4", 234, Richard Jones. Best QB available. I just don't want to take him and then the other guy have like superstar, you know. But let's take him. 75 was hidden, number nine in the class. We took him at number two. He's going to be just fine. With our seventh pick in the draft, we take Jared Ulbrich out of Georgia, run stopper, 21 years old, 74. He's going to move to inside. He has hidden. He's ranked number 13 in the class. I don't really care. I just don't want him to fall onto the next team. So we actually made the right decision. Alfonso Reed, as of right now, is worse. He's a 73. We don't know if he has hidden either. Um, I already know who I'm taking here. I, I'm Ah, shit. Maybe I don't. Kind of want Mike Morgan. Yeah, I'm going to take Mike Morgan here. Yeah, definitely. Taking Mike Morgan. 74, normal. Oh, fuck. That does not feel good. Not feel good. That just was just a big old kick in the ball. <laughs> With this trade, we are trading up 10 picks. We're trading the 20th pick and two threes to trade up to number 10. With this pick, we're taking Darion Gooden out of USC zone, 22 years old, 204, 6 foot. He's ranked top 5 in almost every category. Gotta take him. 79, normal, number 1 in the class. We took him at number 10. Let's go. With this pick, at the end of the first, at pick 29, we are taking a defense tackle, Jonathan Hightower out of Nebraska. 69 normal, depth, whatever. 
with this pick late in the second we're going to take this guy he doesn't look the greatest but I just have a special feeling about him let's go 68 normal whatever Ooh, I reached three picks Ooh, <laughs> my bad I should have let him fall into my pick that's literally like I think two or three picks later with this pick we're taking Jimmy Peak another safety 70 normal 27 in the class we took him at 58 good depth we are trading out of the second round back into the draft of this year. There's two guys later in the draft. I kind of want to take them later, and I think this is the best quality because I can think I can use that four and that six to trade back up in this, into the third. So here we go. With this trade, we are trading into the third round as well. I just realized that the pick that we just traded for was the 32nd pick in the third round, so not great. With this pick, we are taking a right outside linebacker, 64 overall, whatever. With this pick, we are taking another D-tackle in the end of the third, 68 normal. That's fine with me. I don't know if you guys can hear the noise behind me, but if you can, it's my heater kicking on. Sorry. Uh, besides this linebacker, we did pretty good. Like For the most part, it was like high second round talent and above, so I don't really care. Plus, we got like one of the we got the best overall in the whole class at number ten. Like, damn, Devon Easton, he has hidden too. Oh, fuck, we're gonna check his because he's not my. He's a superstar X Factor. I'm going to drop dead. Nice. I want to check the quarterback as well that we didn't take. I swear to God, if the two guys we didn't take that were worse or better I'm going to kill somebody <laughs> like god damn it we should have just taken both the quarterbacks and just said screw it we're just going to let both of them play <laughs> that's not even funny like I just have a feeling that both my guys are going to be stars this sucks. Yeah, so. Richard Jones, Jared Ulbrich, Mike Morgan, Darion Gooden, Hightower, Lockhart, Peak, Whitfield, and Peppers. Not at all bad players. Uh, I'm going to change positions, and then we'll set depth chart for season four. With this trade, we're trading two of the guys that we just drafted in the fourth for a second round of next year. I'm going all in. I'm trading everything I have to win this year because if I have enough money to re-sign a lot of the people then so be it with this trade we are trading for a better D-tackle we are trading Lane Johnson and Bilal Nichols for Fletcher Cox he's going to play that left end position and we're going to go ape shit this year hopefully we have enough money to re-sign Eddie Goldman and like two other players next year to keep the team going but whatever with this trade we're trading a first rounder, Allen Robinson, and Gus Edwards for Julio Jones. Reason for the pick being so high is I used two twos that I traded for, and I mean, a second one that I traded for. So I used all three ones to trade up for that pick because I was going after somebody else. But Julio will just will be just fine. Gus Edwards is a cap hit for us, so gotta. Got to give our quarterback some weapons, and Julio is definitely a weapon. Plus, he saves us two, two and a half mil <laughs> compared to Allen Robinson, so whatever. At the midseason mark, okay, so we can't see our record because we have bye week. We are three and four. What the fuck? Uh, let's look at team real quick. See if any developments got shown. Jones, superstar. Cool. Okay, so we didn't get completely screwed on that. I'm going to go strong arm here. Make him be able to throw the ball down the field. Up to a 77 already. Nice. Um, Mike Morgan has a upgrade. I don't know if I showed the depth chart. I don't think I did. So, this is the depth chart. It's whatever. Whoever you think would probably be there is probably there. Let's be real. 
so. Uh, stats real quick. I swear to God, if we do worse without Brett Hundley, I'm going to be pissed. Okay, he's doing pretty decent. Defense, step it up. Come on. I will right, we'll see you guys at the playoffs. Okay, so we made the playoffs at... Wow, our division is trash. That's why. Cool. Cool. Uh, just going to check out stats first. He did pretty good through the air. Yeah, not bad, not great. Picks can go down. Touchdowns can go up. That would be great. Uh, Kareem Hunt had a down year compared to last year. David Montgomery had an up year compared to last year. Not bad. Julio had a fantastic year as well as Mike Morgan. Hopefully one of the two won Offensive Rookie of the Year. Uh, sacks, not great. Just want to look at sacks. Yeah, sacks are, are just down all around. Toronto got some. I mean, they're up overall, I think, but they're down just everywhere. Picks are down. Yeah, our defense, I don't just don't think, played that well. Kicking, as good as it's ever going to be on both sides and return game nothing special look at awards real quick see if any of our guys won anything we definitely should have won at least yeah okay Trubisky's MVP <laughs> no he's not shut the fuck up uh wow running backs all in the race for offensive player of the year defensive player of the year Roquan at what was that, three? Uh, offensive Rookie of the Year. Both our players got one and two. So hopefully, I hope they could both maybe get it. Get uh, star developments, but or superstar X Factor and star, but we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, the wild card game, we will just simulate, and then if anything happens after that, then we will jump in. We didn't win. Cool. I'll see you guys at the off season. We're probably not drafting anybody as we did trade away most of our picks. Yeah, so I'm not going to re-sign any of these guys. Um, DeAndre Baker played good this year. He's up to a 76 now. Uh, Aaron Lynch and Willie Henry are regressing, as well as Trey Waynes, uh, Greg Zerline, David Montgomery. I can find somebody for cheaper. Terry McLaurin. I have two guys right now, and... Chauncey Gardner Johnson, I have somebody else, so it just doesn't make sense to bring any of those guys back. Plus, I don't really think I have the money. So, um, if there's any negotiations, I'll show you guys. Uh, we're just going to auto upgrade everybody. Hopefully, Richard Jones can get up into the 80s. Uh, we will check Ross real quick to see if anybody got upgraded to anything. Uh, no, nobody got upgraded to anything. Cool. Uh, who was my left tackle? He just retired? If I would have known that, I would have stuck with Lane Johnson, you fucking dickhead. <sighs> Great, so he just retired and I have nobody now. Richard Sherman also retired on me. Cool. Everybody just retired on him. <laughs> yeah, so, new kicker. Uh, corner is a big need, I think, as well as offensive tackle now. If there's any available. Okay, so this is the last year of the rebuild, and I'm just trying to fly through this stuff. Ty Bowser, Ulbrich, and Gary Jennings Jr. gets us into the top three. I'm taking a corner right here because we need one. It's either that or Eddie Jackson moves down to corner, and we play the two young safeties. This is the team for the final season. We're just going to try to make the playoffs. It's a good team. It's a great team. Okay, uh, Tiller needs to be starting. I don't know if I showed you guys, but Tiller is the guy that we drafted. Yeah, 81. Best person in the class. He had a 7.2 and he was, and his top skill was like an A- minus in zone coverage. I was like, dang. Need to take that dude right now. So, this is the team that's rocking. Um, if you see a lot of people being backups, that's because we have no money, and I put on Phil roster, and it probably did the best it could, to be honest. So, we're just going to have to run with it. Quint Nelson slides over to left tackle. Zeitler swings over to left guard. So, yeah, we only have 45 people. Um, 
I guess we'll see if we make the playoffs, hopefully. We do make it as Roquan gets a new ability after I upgrade players. Unfakeable and Lumberjack. <sighs> okay, we at least got a first round by. We went 11-4-1. Just going to do a quick overview of the stats and then we'll get into the game. Richard Jones. Amazing year. That has to be MVP. Hopefully, anyway. Kareem Hunt, an amazing year. Julio Jones, John Ross, DK Metcalf. Apparently, Mike Morgan isn't starting. Uh, good year from the defense, it looks like. Yeah. Good year from the defense. Kicking. Uh, okay. And return game, whatever. Uh, I'm going to look at Defensive Rookie of the Year. Hopefully, Tiller won it. If not, I'm going to be a little sad. As well as MVP and Offensive Player of the Year. For He was fifth. Cool. NFC, Offensive Player of the Year. Kareem Hunt and Richard Jones both make the list. Do not win it. Khalil Mack at number two for Defensive Player of the Year. Roquan at nine. No Offensive Rookie of the Year is for us. Oh, wait. That quarterback we took in the second round. And then Keenan Tiller. Third. Yeah, I'll go fuck myself then. Let's go ahead and get on to the divisional. Going to go into Super Sim here. So we're here. Uh, Super Sim just started. They're up three. My rule is either down by 14 or fourth quarter down by a touchdown. I take over. Now, that doesn't mean, oh, well, you're down by eight, so you can take over. It, you know what I mean. We're up 17 to three, 20 to three, 20 to 10 in the third. 27 to 10, and this game looks like it's, nope, Seahawks not gonna come back. 34 to 17, that's game. I don't care what anybody says, that is game. 37-17, and we will win it, and we will move on. I swear to God we faced the Seahawks two, three, four times. Richard Jones apparently had a good game. Good for him. Yeah, Richard Ser I mean, not Richard Sermon. Uh, whatever, your, whatever the fuck your name is, walk off the field in disappointment. <laughs> Why are you guys getting a picture together? You guys didn't go to the same school. I know two of you fuckers in it. Houston beats KC, if you are looking at the bottom. Jordan Howard's on that team. What the fuck? As well as Wiley Ridley. I, so weird. So we might be taking on the New Orleans Saints. Yeah, we just dominated them. Okay. I'll see you guys at the NFC Championships.